Hello, and welcome to the Aviation Market Overview for the last quarter of 2013, prepared for you by Avia AM Leasing. Today we will discuss the recovery of air travel demand and its influence on growing traffic worldwide. As the global economy continues on its path to recovery, aviation is doing its part by facilitating connectivity that drives global trade and commerce. For the first time, the number of air passengers has topped 3 billion and is expected to increase to 3.3 billion in 2014. The solid performance was supported by the stabilization of negative trends in the emerging markets and renewed confidence in Europe and North America. From July to October 2013, the demand for international air travel expanded in the range of 6 to 7 percent. However, the proportion of first and business class seats has yet to recover to its pre-recession level. As a result, airlines whose business models depend on the sales of premium seats had to take action to improve their asset utilization by mergers or through the establishment of joint ventures. During the period, North American Airlines saw demand rise at an average of 3.6%, which points to the maturity of the market. Recent indicators suggest a more supportive business environment, with consumer confidence and business activity showing improvement throughout the quarter. As the domestic traffic in the region rose by 2.8%, it can be concluded that it was not seriously impacted by the federal government shutdown that month, despite some pessimistic forecasts. European carrier traffic increased by 5.4% per month, with modest economic improvements continuing to support the growth. The Eurozone economy stopped contracting in the second quarter and continued on the path of modest recovery in the second half of 2013. Despite a shift to a lower economic growth trajectory, the aviation market in the Asia-Pacific region continued to see strong growth in demand. The current growth rates are an improvement compared to the first half of 2013. Supported by better performance of major economies such as China and Japan, although the latter is still to return to pre-tsunami levels. Carriers in the region recorded an increase of 8.5% in August and September. Furthermore, the international trade volumes in the emerging Asian economies rebounded in September, adding further support for business travel. The hubs in the Middle East, particularly in the Gulf region, also continued to expand in support of the increasing long-haul connectivity. Strong oil revenues continued to bolster travel generated by domestic activity and the development of the tourist industry. Carriers in the region went on showing the strongest year-on-year -year traffic growth at an average of 11.8%. The trend is likely to continue with economies such as Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates showing ongoing strong growth in the non-oil producing sectors and robust increases in new export orders in support of strong expansion in business and leisure travel. Airlines in Latin America, on the other hand, remain burdened by an infrastructure that is failing to keep up with growth in demand. While some countries, such as Chile, have worked hard to evolve a policy framework on which airlines can expand and drive local economic growth, others have failed to get rid of policies which are counterproductive. Nevertheless, airlines of the region posted an 8.3% increase in demand for September and October, which means that the economic expansion in Colombia, Peru, and Chile keeps bolstering the demand for international travel whilst offsetting the continuing weakness in Brazil. The air traffic in Africa grew at an average of 5.8% compared to last year. While the strong economic growth in several emerging economies, including Ghana and Nigeria, keep supporting the growth in demand across the region, the competitiveness of African aviation is still being compromised by the exceptionally high price of aviation fuel on the continent. On average, jet fuel in Africa remains about 20% more expensive than elsewhere on the globe. In addition, improving safety remains the biggest issue on the African agenda. The overall environment, as concerns air travel demand, remains positive, largely due to rising business confidence, a strong increase in export orders, and better performance of key emerging markets like China. The figures indicate that the industry is on the right track as international experts expect 2014 to be the second consecutive year of strengthening profitability. During the last six months of 2013, the overall aircraft market values remained at a relatively stable level with no significant changes observed. However, regional aircraft were an exception as they experienced a major decrease in market values. The value of the CRJ100-200 
ERJ-135, and ATR-42 drop by 9, 6, and 10% respectively. Average lease rates remain stable and did not change significantly during the last six months of 2013. During the period, most lessors maintained stable lease rates for narrow body, wide body, and regional aircraft. The only exception was regional airplanes with more than 50 seats, including the ATR-72-500, which experienced a 4% decrease in lease rates. The decrease is expected to be a short-term trend as the market has already witnessed positive signs of a growing demand for these particular aircraft. This has been an exclusive market review for the last quarter of 2013 prepared for you by Avia AM Leasing. Many thanks for watching and until next time, goodbye.